Hello, everyone. I decided to put together this video out of the request of my colleagues who wanted to learn how to use an iPad when you are teaching a classroom using Zoom and then use the iPad to annotate, say, your slides or some um, empty page um, uh, using screen mirroring. So um, I want to say as a disclaimer at the beginning, because I'll be uploading this and I don't know who's gonna watch it later, that I'm not an expert in Zoom. I haven't even used it uh, much yet. Um, but I found out that this setting uh, that I'm gonna use um, and I'm gonna show you is particularly useful if you have a Mac computer, that being a laptop or a desktop and an iPad. If you're on Windows, uh, there are other options to use an iPad. And then I'm actually going to put one link to another method um, below that may work in that case. However, if you have a Mac and an iPad, this, I believe, is the easiest way to get it done uh, very quickly. Um, so another thing I want to say before we start is that <clears throat> I'm assuming that you know how to set up a meeting, you Zoom, you have an account. Uh, you sort of like know the basics and the only question is how you use the iPad um, to teach. So let's get started. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen uh, so that you can see what I'm seeing. Essentially, a couple of minutes ago, my window looked like this. I could see myself and then at the bottom I had a menu with a bunch of different options. And the one that I really care about is this one that is in green over here that is called share screen. If you hit that one, then um, you're gonna see all these options and you can see even more options because it depends on how many parents you have open. And the one that I care about is this one over here that says iPhone, iPad via AirPlay. And so that's the option that we're gonna use. We're gonna select that one and then we're gonna hit share. Once you do that, your screen will pop up and will say exactly this. It will say on your iPhone or iPad, connect to the Wi-Fi network blah, and that will be the name that your computer is connected to. So they have to be in the same Wi-Fi network. And then it's gonna say tap screen mirroring, and then you choose Zoom, MacBook, whatever. So that name may actually change depending on the name of your computer and, and so on. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna get out of sharing my screen. I'm gonna actually gonna go ahead and synchronize my um, iPad. So I'm gonna actually do these steps that I just showed you. All right, so now I just follow the steps that I just explained and I'm here in my iPad and you can see everything that is on my iPad. So since you haven't seen the iPad side, let me show you what you have to do here. Um, you will have to get this contextual menu in the iPad where you can set up airplane mode and control the volume and all this stuff. And then there, you will have to hit on screen mirroring and you will see the option Zoom MacBook Pro. You hit that one and then at that point, you're essentially mirroring your iPad with Zoom. So now what you need is an app that will allow you to annotate PDFs using your Apple Pencil. There are several of these apps out there. The two that are uh, most popular are GoodNotes and Notability. Um, and as far as I know, at the time that I made the decision, I used GoodNotes, they were very similar. Um, they may have differences in terms of whether you can synchronize with Dropbox easily or iCloud and so on. But leaving those things aside, both are gonna be uh, very similar, so if you don't have one, just make sure that you um, choose one that fits your needs. Um, in my case, as I said, I use uh, GoodNotes, which is this one over here. So I'm gonna open the app now. And one cool thing that you will see immediately is that the screen went black. And that is because I'm in the menu of the app where I can see all the files that are in my iPad, and then um, that is not uh, shown on Zoom which is a good feature because if you have other stuff that you don't want people to see, um, they're not gonna see what you have in there. They're just gonna start seeing something the minute that you open a file. So I wanna open up a presentation that I have. These are slides of the paper. 
whatever. Um, so now you can see how you can switch uh, over slides, and then you can see that in um, Zoom. And here, using my Apple Pencil, using this app, it's very easy to start making annotations. I can say hello. I can uh, choose a different thickness of my um, um, pencil. Uh, of course, you can also use uh, different colors, OK? And so, and so on and so forth. I'm not going to explain the options that you have here because they are very straightforward. So but believe me, you have many options in terms of colors and thickness and so on. And you can annotate all the slides that you have over here and make a mess out of them. So if your slides have space to write, then you can use that space and just annotate in there. Or if you say have a slide that is already full and there's no space and you would prefer to say uh, do a derivation or a picture in a white page, you can open another document also in uh, GoodNotes. And then I call this Notepad Zoom. And it just contains white pages. So in the white page, I can just do my pictures and do things, OK? And then once this entire thing is used, I can just flip, bring another white page, and I start writing over here. And a useful thing is that I can switch back between my slides and my derivations um, easily, as I have two tabs open currently in good notes. And um, another feature that I think is nice is that your participants will only be able to see what your slides are or your white pages, but they don't get to see how many tabs you have open or the menus where you choose options. So I think um, that um, that's a convenient uh, uh, feature. So anyway, hopefully this shows you that if you want to teach um, um, using slides and annotating in them, uh, you can do it using the setup. Or if you just say you want to go full force and just teach using a whiteboard, uh, you can do so um, using this setup as well. Um, so I hope this was useful. I hope that you can use it. And um, I'll see you guys around.